Hello everyone, I'm HexDSL, and this is Total War Warhammer 2, which I always want to call Warhammer Total War 2, but it's the second Warhammer game in the Total War series. Franchise? Yeah, range, range. Um, so Total War Warhammer 2 is the way to think about this. Originally, it was released on the 28th of September 2017, developed by Creative Assembly. That's a Creative Assembly, I should say that properly, and uh, published by Sega. Now, the uh, the port was done by Feral Interactive, and they are publishing the Mac and Linux versions. The game is priced at £39.99, and there is £35.96 worth of DLC, and there's one, two, three, four DLC that are free as well. So you can just grab them straight away, and then the rest is uh, coming up to that £35.96. So it's not a cheap game. This is quite a premium price game, which is, yeah, fine. Um, the, uh, the requirements. Now let me read to you the requirements. I know this gets boring, but I feel like I should say it, because... Some of these are quite, quite heavy. So uh, the minimum required, this is the absolute minimum they recommend to run this game. The minimum recommended, is that a word anyway? The minimum requirements is Ubuntu 18.04 64-bit, uh, an Intel i3-4130 at 3.4 gigahertz, 6 gig of RAM, uh, a GTX 660 with 2 gigabyte of RAM, uh, and an AMD R9-285, or I should say, not and, with again with 2 gigabyte. It requires a 52 gigabyte of storage, even though the download I did to get the game installed was 33.7 gigabyte. Uh, the recommended, however, and I'm just going to read the, the, the differences here because obviously it's still Ubuntu 64 bit, no 32 bit, remember that. Um, the uh, recommended is um, an Intel i7 4770 at 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigabyte of RAM, a 4 gigabyte NVIDIA 970, or a 4 gigabyte AMD RX 480. Um, and there's a little note at the bottom of the Steam page here that you probably pay attention to. Uh, NVIDIA graphics card require driver version 396.54. AMD GPUs require MESA 18.1.5 or better. And Intel GPUs are not supported. So this is a game that is, is of a high end. This is a high end game that they expect you to have a decent rig to play. And that's instantly understandable as soon as you go in the first battle. And for me, I played Ratman Strike because I was like, Ratman, 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 you know, because uh, why would you not play Ratman if you can? Because they're just adorable and they look like they're having a wonderful time all the time. Um, and I threw all these Ratman at these uh, terrified looking elf people. And uh, yeah, there was a lot going on. <laughs> like, there is a lot going on in this game. And you can zoom in all the animations, like, individually done. They're not just copy pastas. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. So I can see why it recommends an i7-4770. I actually come below the recommended spec. My system's an i7-3770. Uh, yeah, so I, I actually come below a little bit below the CPU spec, um, which is why I don't get, I don't actually hit 60 frames a second on this one. I did some frame rate checking. Now, it's worth saying all my frame rate checking was done with OBS Open. I haven't actually loaded the game without OBS yet um and i was getting high 40s bro what what i noted was even when the action was nuts it was a very stable frame rate i was getting that was just by hitting recommend the hit and play um so yeah i was really i was really quite happy with that uh the guy yeah just just the amount of stuff going on is ludicrous and uh i haven't played loads yet um and i'm looking at the screenshots here and i'm seeing dragons and like dinosaurs like a triceratops that's been turned into a tank thing and uh, there's a lot going on and there's, there's multi-headed dragon there it's like tiamat um there's a lot going on there that, that i'm looking forward to seeing because i should think watching a t-rex steam <laughs> steam roll rat men is going to be really entertaining um i've had a quick look around as i said i'm going to be playing a lot more this is a this game only came out yesterday so i can't exactly claim i've played loads of it um so, you know, it, it, it's very much the company to come back to. I'm probably, in fact, I'm almost definitely going to do another video next Wednesday where I will have played a lot more by then because I'm going to stream it two nights this week. So hopefully I'll have a lot more thoughts next week. But of the stuff I've tried so far, it seems like each race makes the game feel vastly different. Like I tried these, um, again, I'm not familiar with Warhammer lore, so please forgive me. I tried these zombie pirate people, no, no, vampire pirate people type things. Um, and their mechanics was very different. They have to, a lot of movement mechanics you have to take into account. Where Ratman, you just chuck Ratman at the problem, which seems like why Ratman is the obvious solution to any problem. Um, cause they just look like, they look like they're at a rave in the 90s. They're just having such a great, <laughs> such a great time, the Ratman are. They're adorable. We need them all the time. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to playing more. Now, Warhammer Total, sorry, Total War game, I should say. If you, if you haven't played them, they're an odd fusion because you've got this board gamey type bit where it's a strategy map and you're picking where units are going, what areas they're taking. And you're really doing like, 
the uh, the management side of it, and then you go into a battle. Now you can auto resolve battles, and if it's like on the edge, on the cusp of like I'm probably going to win, but maybe I take a lot of losses. You're always better off doing it manually because then you can go in and sort of maybe you'll play a lot better than the AI would. Um, AI, that's what. Yeah, we'll go with AI. The bots, I should probably have said. But um, if you auto resolve it, you can sometimes yeah win, and, and sometimes it's obvious that I'm going to steamroll them so hard, I just auto resolve it. But at the same time, it's good to watch Ratman steamroll stuff. You know, that's that's a lot of fun. Um, so uh, yeah, you you can you can go in these two distinct gameplays. You've got the board game, then you've got the battle sequence. The battle sequence, as I said, you're very much a general controlling troops, and the board game is very much like it like it's like a little bit reminiscent of Civ, but vastly different to that because it's more focused on the strategy rather than like not building a town and like maintaining that. You know, building a town, building an empire, I should say. Um, it is an odd fusion. It's something that. I could see a lot of people bouncing off. And in the first game, I felt like I would rather play the board game than the battle sequences. Um, but this one, this battle sequence is so well done that I'm kind of like, yeah, I need to see this. You know, <laughs> I, need to, I need to see this. Even though I'm not particularly good at that kind of, of gameplay, I much more prefer the stuff that's happening on you know on the board game side of it. But the two gel together quite nicely. And after a couple of battles and then going back to it, it starts to feel quite natural to do that. So yeah, uh, the, uh, the caveat... And I say caveat because it's not really. It's all Total War games have a bucket load of DLC. It's like they release the game and then they throw DLC at it and the DLC pads out. A lot like Paradox games, like with Stellaris does the same thing and CK2 here does the same thing. But, you know, the more you add to it, the better it gets. But none of it's necessary. You can play the base game for £39 and you will have a good time. There will be lots to do. But once you add that DLC layer on top, there is, like, you're rich in content. There's so much to do and try. And uh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of free DLC you can, you can grab there as well. So, you know, the, you're going to see the diff what difference I'm talking about there. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, the game is £39.99 and the DLC is £35.96 on top of that. And there's nothing to say there's not more DLC going to be coming out in the future. So, yeah, it is... It is not cheap to get the full experience. It is very, very much not cheap. Um, you can buy it on the Feral Store. You'll get a Steam code over on the Feral Store directly. Um, and then I assume I assume it's better for them if you buy it from the Feral Store. Um, yeah, so you can, you can sort of support them like that. Um, but you still got to get the Steam key, so it's the same price as on Steam. So, you know, you may as well do that to support Feral, who are making, who are making the ports. Because we want Ratman in our lives. We always need more Ratman in our, li in our lives. Uh, I did some reading, because I wasn't particularly well-versed on... Um, on Warhammer, uh, on, on Total War Warhammer. Uh, I did some reading and it seems like if you own the first game and a lot of the DLC, um, it brings that into the second game. Um, I didn't see any pop-ups that specifically told me that, but uh, it's definitely a thing that, that that people on the forums are saying happens and I couldn't find an official post that confirms it. Um, I assume it happens on the next port, the same as it does on the Windows port. I'm going to look into that a bit more and have, another, have an actual definitive answer on that for you by the time I do my next Wednesday's video. But yeah, this is just a look at it. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's quite glorious. I really like the lush environment. And, and yeah, I, I, there's a lot to like. I'm looking forward to streaming this and going all in with it. I think that's going to be something I'm really going to enjoy. So thank you for watching this, this eight minute rambly ramble thing I've done. Um, and yeah, next week, or next Wednesday, when I've played enough of it to have a real sort of well-formed opinion, I'll be able to come back and say loads. Uh, hopefully that's actually useful, not just rambling. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for watching and thank you to Feral for making a good football in this game. I've been kind of looking forward to this since it came out on Windows pretty much. I've been like, yeah, I want to I play that. So uh, I'm happy to finally be able to play it. Um, it is also worth mentioning that my code was provided to me by Feral, uh, which I probably should have said at the start but completely forgot. But it, it'll be in the description of the video right up there so everyone can see it anyway. So thanks for watching. I've been Hex. You can follow me on uh, hexdsl.co.uk. Uh, no, that's my YouTube channel. That's where you're watching. That's where you're watching this. You can follow me on Master.hexdsl. Um, I have a Patreon. You can support me there if you uh, would like to. Um, and we also have a forum now. So if you're old school and you want to try out the forum instead of the Discord, we have a Discord. Uh, you can go to forum.hexdsl.co.uk or forum.xpenguin. .co.uk and I'll be talking about this game uh, not only Wednesday but also on the next Penguin show on Monday. Thank you for watching. I've been Hex. And goodbye.